President Tsai Ing-wen's long-term care 2.0 policy is now four years old. But what has it meant for the lives of Taiwan's elders? At community centers for senior citizens, services pro focus on providing opportunities for creative expression, letting participants rediscover their place as part of a valued community. Let's head now to one center in Taichung to find out more. Boiling water is carefully poured into coffee grounds to produce the perfect brew. Meanwhile, picture-perfect buns emerge from the steamer piping hot. They've all been handmade by the project participants. To make the buns, you make a paste from dragon fruit. You add flour, knead it. There's pumpkin flavor too. They're good for you. When we come here, there's usually a teacher teaching something, and we all work together to make it. In art class, they paint on black paper and learn from a tutorial. This is the center of Taichung's Dadaren Senior Care Association. Here, elderly members of the community can express themselves and find new fields to learn and explore. We're rolling out more elderly communities than any other area in Taiwan. That means our coverage is better. What we'll demand in the future is for the quality to improve. If there's a profit on their handmade goods, their products, that is shared between the seniors. It lets them feel, I'm getting older, but actually I still have value. I can still earn money. As the long-term care 2.0 scheme enters its fourth year, it's focusing on restoring life skills and elderly care centers are thriving with creative activities.